Another couple of cover crops that I think are really highly underutilized. We could be using a lot more of them as we figure out more and more roles that they can play for us. And that's the corns. Uh, of course, we're used to growing corn as a field crop and or a silage crop, but very rarely uh, do we plant corn as a grazing crop. And it really has a lot of ability to do some neat things as a grazing crop. Here's a couple of our corns. We have our our uh, BMR 90, which is a brown midrib corn, which means that this corn is absolute candy to a grazing animal. This is one of the, if not the, highest energy summer forage that you can grow. Um, the brown midrib, just like the brown midrib sorghums, means it's extremely digestible. Um, and you can see the brownish coloration along that midrib there, as opposed to a white midrib, like uh, uh, we would see in regular field corn. It's not as big and not as vigorous as field corn, uh, but the seed is so cheap that you can plant this extremely thick and uh, make up for it. Um, pick up a lot of tonnage just through high seeding rates. Another option is uh, popcorn. And you don't think about popcorn as a grazing plant, except for humans, but uh, this has some utility as well. It's a little longer maturity than the, uh, than the BMR corn. Uh, one of the great advantages of it is these little hard seeds will go through a drill really easy. Sometimes the large kernels of the other corn types uh, get cracked as they go through a drill and we fail to get good stands. But popcorn, and this is the same popcorn we eat, um, it has hard round seeds that go through a drill really well. One of my, one of the advantages of is that they will grow at temperatures quite a bit lower than what sorghums will. Um, so once you get into August, September, sorghums start to lose ground to corn as a summer annual plant. Um, right now, on my temperature uh, coming in today, it was 51 degrees. Corn will grow today. Sorghum will not. Sorghum needs about 60 to 65 degrees temperature. So this corn still adding dry matter today. The sorghum's pretty well done. And so if you're planting very late in the season, you can gain a lot of additional dry matter production with corn over sorghum in a fall grazing mix. Another advantage that corn has compared to sorghum uh, at this time of year said we are probably within a week or two going to get a frost. When sorghum gets hit by a frost, it can develop prussic acid problems. So you don't want animals grazing out there during prussic acid risk. Neither of our corns have any prussic acid. You can graze them right through a frost. You can graze them the day after a frost. You don't have a prussic acid risk. So I think in situations where people are planting things for fall pasture, specifically for this time of year in October when we have a frost risk, you can get more dry matter, higher energy content, and more safety by putting in some corn, in popcorn or BMR corn at this time, uh, during your August and early September plantings for grazing at this time of year.